In the heavenly realm, Han Fong dressed as a weak and sickly prince of the Marquis' mansion. Father was assassinated on his way to the gold mine, Han Fong is deeply trapped in the vortex of power and danger. Inside, there are villains stirring up trouble, while outside, there are powerful enemies eyeing. Fortunately, the Xiaoxiong explosive weapon system was activated in a timely manner, causing a series of explosive soldiers, including villains, Xianming Sect, Tun Wen Hao, and Huanin Fang, kill the villains first, and then eliminate the strong enemies. Step on the Jade Tiger, collect the Purple Orchid Pavilion, eliminate the Ji Wu Yi, and take control of Korea. Step by step, embark on the path of a hero, awaken the power of the world, and lie drunk on the knees of a beautiful woman. Keanu Yao I originally wanted to captivate him with beauty, but I never thought I would fall for his handsome man's scheme. Flame Spirit G He's really good or bad, asking people to dance that kind of dance. Shocking Salamander He has a sword, and his spear shoots like a dragon. I am willing to bow down below. Yen Fei as long as he likes them, I will personally go and catch them. Moon God Yen Fei can do this for him, so can I, Moon God. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. 01. In the world of Qin Dynasty, the Owl Hero System You are listening at NovelFull.audio Am I dead? In a room full of ancient charm and historical atmosphere. Han Fong stared at the fallen body on the ground in astonishment, his inner confusion and shock intertwined. He was shocked to find that the corpse, in terms of face, height, and body shape, was exactly the same as himself. If it weren't for his modern attire and the other party's ancient attire, he would almost have thought that the deceased person was himself. What exactly is this situation? Han Fong asked and answered himself, full of doubts. Why did I suddenly cross here when I was still fighting in front of the computer for Dog Mail Alliance? Besides, there was a person who looked exactly like me who died here. Han Fong comes from the 21st century. Before crossing over, he was sitting in his study playing fiercely, blaming his teammates for their mistakes and spitting out a fragrant breath. At the moment when his game base was defeated, there was a sudden darkness in front of him, and when he opened his eyes again, he was already in this unfamiliar world. Just as Han Fong was deeply confused. A crisp and pleasant voice rang out in his mind. Ding! Host detected, golden finger loading. Subsequently, a system prompt sound followed one after another. Ding! Golden finger loaded. Host bound. Xiao Xiong system. Xiao Xiong system. Drunk and lying on the beauty's lap, awakening to control the world, focusing on building the host into an unparalleled Xiao Xiong. This series of sudden sounds stunned Han Fong for a moment. But soon it turned into a surprise. Golden finger. Owl system. It seems that I have really traveled and even obtained the legendary golden finger dot. Following the classic routine of online novels, Han Fong quickly accepted this fact. At the same time, the system prompt sounds again. Ding! Host activation system, reward beginner with a gift pack. Han Fong was slightly stunned when he heard the beginner gift package. Immediately, his starry eyes shone brightly and he decisively chose to turn it on. Ding! The beginner gift pack has been opened. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a memory. Congratulations to the host, you have obtained five years of internal power. Congratulations to the host for obtaining perfect iron cloth shirt. Han Fong was overwhelmed by these diverse rewards for a while. When he saw a memory, he immediately locked his gaze on the body on the ground that was similar to himself speculating that this memory might be the person's past life experiences. He didn't hesitate and chose to read this memory. In an instant, a mighty stream of memories flooded into my mind. Han Fong closed his eyes and quickly digested and absorbed. 
After a moment, Han Fong opened his eyes, with a glimmer of insight into everything. I see. I have traveled to the world of anime in the background of the Qin dynasty. By reading this memory, Han Fong learned that he had come to Tianqin Joga Animation. But it's not the period when anime happened. But even longer ago. The current time point is the sixth year of the reign of King Qin. Also. Some characters in this world are different from those in anime. For example, under Prince Tianza of Baiyue, there was not a woman named Yan Lingji. These are another matter. Currently, Han Fong is most concerned about the identity of the deceased. Same name as him, also called Han Fong. From being weak and prone to diseases, one is born with diseased seedlings. But identity is not simple. They are members of the Korean royal family. The father of the deceased was Han Li Wang's younger brother. When he was young, he made great contributions to the neutrality of the Qi state in the war, and with his royal identity, he was later appointed as a feudal lord and granted the land of Nanyang County. Later on, King Huan Hui of Han succeeded to the throne. Gradually centralizing power, the feudal lords were weakened, and half of the fiefdoms were taken back, in terms of military power, it has also been reduced to a maximum of 5,000 soldiers. The mother of the deceased gave birth to Han Fong when she was eight months pregnant, and died of difficult childbirth. Due to premature birth, the deceased was also weak and sickly from a young age. The father of the deceased belongs to the old generation and is very loving and caring for the deceased. But seven days ago, while going to inspect his own sealed gold mine, he was attacked by bandits from the White Wolf stronghold and died on the spot. After learning about it, the deceased became increasingly weak if struck by lightning. Finally died completely just now. Something's wrong. There's a problem. After flashes of memories, Han Fengxing's eyes froze. He felt a strong sense of conspiracy. Firstly, it is abnormal to encounter bandits from the White Wolf stronghold when checking our own sealed gold mine. Secondly, through memory, it is known that the deceased has been asking his father's former deputy general to lead troops to the White Wolf Mountain these days to eliminate the White Wolf Fortress and avenge his father. But the deputy general used the rugged terrain of the White Wolf Mountain, with jungles and mountains everywhere, as an excuse to delay sending troops. The White Wolf Village only has six or seven hundred bandits, while its own army has five thousand. The terrain of White Wolf Mountain is not particularly complex. With 5,000 soldiers and horses surrounding and suppressing it, the White Wolf Fortress will surely be destroyed. The Deputy General, however, repeatedly procrastinated, indicating obvious problems. Over the years, the father of the deceased has been taking care of the frail and sickly deceased, and military control has gradually been handed over to the former Deputy General. Now the deputy general is pushing three to block four. Either this incident is related to him. Either take advantage of the fall of the deceased father to seize power and empty power. This matter is unusual. Han Fengying's eyes narrowed and thoughts flashed through his mind. At this moment. Ding, trigger task. Replace the deceased's identity and investigate the cause of the deceased's father's death. Due to task requirements, distribute item. Hua Gu San. Hmm. Triggered the task. Han Fong was taken aback. Then I noticed that the item turned into bone powder. He had a sudden thought and extracted the Hua Gu San. What appeared in his hand was a bottle, obviously containing bone dissolving powder. Hua Gu San. This is asking me to replace the deceased's identity and eliminate traces. Han Fong looked at the bottle in his hand and felt a little guilty in his heart. He appeared here with a corpse. If someone discovers it, they will definitely be suspected or even caught. Therefore, in order to survive, he can only use the system's reward of bone powder to destroy the corpse. Sorry, this is the only way to survive. Every Qingming festival in the future, I will burn more paper money for you. And your father's death, I will help you investigate thoroughly. 
After speaking, Han Fong opened the bottle and scattered the bones on top of the body. I saw the white mist instantly diffuse, and the body melted and shrank at a visible speed until it finally turned into a pile of white powder. Processed the body. Han Feng's heart moved. Extract five years of internal power. Extract the perfect iron cloth shirt. As soon as his thoughts fell, his internal strength surged into his body, filling his limbs and bones. At the same time, the perfect iron cloth shirt also acted on him, causing changes in his body muscles and bones, as if he had been practicing for decades, immediately integrating and becoming incredibly strong. View Properties Soon, Han Feng's personal attributes were revealed. Host Han Feng Age 18 years old, cultivation Early days after tomorrow, martial arts Iron cloth shirt, item. None. Five years of internal strength, becoming a master in the early days after tomorrow, coupled with a perfect iron cloth shirt. Not bad, I have the ability to protect myself. Looking at the attributes, Han Feng was quite satisfied. In the world of the great Qin dynasty, cultivation is divided into forged bone, acquired, innate, grandmaster, Great Grandmaster, Heaven and Man. Each realm is further subdivided into Early, Middle, Late, and Peak. When Han Feng checks his own information. Click. Outside, a slight noise came from This situation, someone is here. But It's late at night now. Suddenly someone came, the situation is not right. Zero two. Housekeeper's Ghost, Jade Tiger's Promissory Note You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Who could it be? Han Feng frowned slightly. This person came late at night, it's very unusual. I have to be careful. Han Feng's eyes flickered. In an instant, he had a decision. Han Feng quietly returned to bed and lay down on his side. Then he covered himself with a blanket and pretended to fall asleep. Han Feng just lay down here. The person quietly arrived outside the room, their eyes flickering inexplicably. Crown Prince, Crown Prince. The person gently calls out while listening attentively. Butler. Am I being too suspicious? Upon hearing this person's voice, Han Feng breathed a sigh of relief. The person who came was the butler of the original mansion. I have always been loyal to the Han family and seem to have no signs of betraying them. After his father's death, Ginchen, who was worried about the worsening of his condition, would come over late every night to see if Ginchen was sleeping well. This butler seems to have no problem. But just in case, be careful. Han Feng dared not take it lightly and continued to pretend to be asleep. A moment passed. The butler saw that there was no response inside the room, so he gently pushed open the door and walked in. Continuing. He tiptoed to the bedside. Crown Prince, Crown Prince. The butler stared at Han Feng on the bed without blinking, and then called out several times. I saw Han Feng sleeping peacefully, breathing calmly, and looking like he had fallen asleep. Ha, huh, it seems that the overpowering drug has worked and the crown prince has passed out in a coma. The butler took a deep breath, his tense heart suddenly relaxed. He gave Han Feng a complex look in his eyes. Then he turned around and rummaged through the room. Overpowering drugs. There is indeed a problem. Upon hearing the butler's self-talk, Han Feng's heart suddenly surged. If I guess correctly. The butler's excessive use of hallucinogens directly leads to the death of the already weak original body. Then, I crossed over. Han Feng guessed faintly in his heart. But what exactly is this person looking for? He was puzzled in his heart. At this point, the butler, who was searching for something, suddenly let out a soft cry. Found it. Only see. The butler took out a key from the robe that was originally placed on the hanger. After receiving the key, 
the butler hurriedly walked towards the outside of the room. This is the key to the study. Han Fengying's eyes suddenly opened and looked at the departing butler. This is the key to the study area. Previously, it was kept by the father of the deceased, but later when the father died, the key was entrusted to the deceased for safekeeping. It seems that there is something the butler wants in the study. At this moment, the system prompt sounds. Ding, trigger task. Investigate the butler's intention. Hmm. Investigating the butler's intentions. Han Feng's heart twitched. Immediately, he directly took on the task. Next up. He got up and quietly followed the butler out of the room. Not long. The butler approached the study and carefully took out the key to open the door, then quietly walked in. Han Feng saw the situation and followed closely behind. After entering the study, the butler walked straight towards the desk, opened the drawer, and took out a sandalwood box from it. Then, opened the sandalwood box. Inside the sandalwood box, there was a stack of things that seemed to be silver bills. Upon seeing this, the butler quickly checked one by one. Found it. In a moment, the butler suddenly let out a low shout and his face showed joy. However, at this moment, a cold voice reached the butler's ear from behind. What did you find? The butler was immediately startled upon hearing these words. My heart was filled with fear. Surprisingly, his own crown prince did not fall into his daze and quietly appeared behind his back. The butler was so scared that his forehead was sweating and his palms were soaked through. He trembled and startled, slowly turning around. After seeing Han Feng in front of him, his eyes suddenly shrank. World. Crown Prince. The butler stuttered and spoke incoherently in fear. Shua Han Feng reached out and grabbed the butler's neck, lifting him up. Then, he took the paper from the butler's hand over. A promissory note. Han Feng frowned slightly and then checked the content of the promissory note. Jade Tiger borrowed 500,000 taels of silver due to insufficient finance in Nanyang City. The Jade Tiger borrowed 500,000 taels of silver from its original father. Is it possible that the death of the original father was caused by the Jade Tiger? Seeking wealth and harming life, the Jade Tiger not only doesn't want to return these 500,000 taels of silver, but also wants the gold mine discovered in his original father's fiefdom. Han Feng looked at the promissory note in his hand and began to speculate in his heart. Subsequently, his gaze fell on the butler. This butler is obviously from the Jade Tiger. His action tonight is to steal the promissory note and hand it over to the Jade Tiger. At the thought of this, Han Feng's eyes froze, his gaze fixed sharply on the butler, and he asked coldly, Did the Jade Tiger murder my father? The butler was pinched by Han Feng's neck, and his face turned red at the moment, as if he was about to die. He showed a pleading expression in his eyes, praying that Han Feng would let him go. Han Feng's eyes flickered and he released his hand. Ha, huh, cough, the butler collapsed on the ground, panting heavily and out of breath. Then, he coughed continuously. Han Feng's eyes froze, revealing a murderous intent. The butler was so frightened that he couldn't take a breath and quickly knelt down, saying, Please spare your life, crown prince. I don't want to do this, I don't want to. This is what the Jade Tiger forced me to do. The little man's son committed a crime and was caught by the Jade Tiger. The Jade Tiger told the little man that if he wanted to save his son's life, he would find the promissory note and hand it over to him. As for whether the master was plotted by the Jade Tiger, I really don't know. The crown prince spare his life. The butler was so frightened that he spoke out everything in one breath. Shut up. Han Feng shouted coldly. The butler was immediately frightened and dared not speak out for mercy. The Jade Tiger designed the butler's son to threaten the butler to steal IOUs in order not to repay the money. Can things be so simple? Han Feng's eyes flickered and he did not give up his suspicion of the Jade Tiger. Later, 
he put the promissory note in his arms and put it away. This is five hundred thousand tails of silver, not a small amount. At present, our strength is insufficient and we are unable to charge Jade Tiger. In the future, if you have enough strength, you must settle accounts. When Han Fong collected the promissory note, the system prompt sound rang in his mind. Ding, complete task. Investigate the butler's intentions. Congratulations to the host for obtaining. Tian Sha Star, from the world of villains, congratulations to the host for obtaining. 100 elite villains, congratulations to the host for obtaining. Perfect body method. Dragon walking step, congratulations to the host for obtaining. One year of internal power Han Fong was ecstatic in his heart, his eyes flashing with excitement. Summon the heavenly killer star. Summon a hundred elite villains. Without any hesitation, Han Fong directly chose to summon the heavenly killer star and one hundred elite villains. Ding summoned successfully the villainous Tian Gang 36 Colonel Tian Sha Star and 100 elite villains are rushing towards the host, expected to arrive around half a burning incense stick do we need half a burning incense stick to catch up. Han Fong thought that after summoning, he would appear directly by his side. Subsequently, Han Fang's gaze fell on the personal attribute panel of Tian Sha Star. 03. Trigger Task Clean up the traitors in the mansion. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Tian Sha Star, Tian Gang 36 Colonel. From the world of villains, influence. Bad person, cultivation. Congenital mid stage, mid congenital stage. Having him and a hundred elite villains can help me stabilize my mansion. Han Fong couldn't help but feel somewhat satisfied. Such strength is exactly what he needs to stabilize his mansion. Tian Sha Xing and a hundred elite villains are coming, undoubtedly giving Han Feng a reassuring pill. Subsequently, Han Feng's gaze shifted to other rewards in the system. His heart twitched. Extract one year's internal power. Extract the perfect dragon walk. Han Feng's thoughts had just fallen, and his internal strength instantly surged into his body. Next, filled into his limbs and bones. At the same time, there is also the Yulongbu, which is straightforward and perfect, making Han Feng feel much lighter in his body. View Properties Han Feng's heart twitched again. Then, I checked it out. Host Han Feng, age 18 years old, cultivation Midday after tomorrow, body technique Iron cloth shirt, perfect, speed body method. Dragon walking step, perfect, expert under his command. Tian Sha Stark elite under our command. 100 elites are not good people, item. None. One year of internal strength, breaking through a small and heavy realm, from the early days after tomorrow to the mid days after tomorrow. A physical body, a perfect iron cloth shirt, a speed, a dragon step. My strength has increased again. Han Feng's eyes flickered with satisfaction. Subsequently, thoughts return. Han Feng's gaze fell on the butler kneeling in front of him. Although the butler was understandable, his original body died because of him. Han Feng pondered. At this moment, the butler had calmed down from fear and shock. He knelt in front of Han Feng, his head lowered, his eyes flickering, and his heart puzzled. I clearly poured all the hallucinogens into the crown prince's tea, but why hasn't the crown prince been unconscious? The strength that the crown prince just grabbed my neck and lifted me up is not something that a person who has been weak and sickly since childhood can possess. Being able to appear silently behind me, yet I didn't notice at all. Did the crown prince secretly cultivate martial arts and discover something, so he kept pretending to be sick? But not right. I have watched the crown prince grow up since I was young. The crown prince is weak and sickly, and walking on his own is a problem. How could he possibly practice martial arts? The butler suddenly had various thoughts and became suspicious. 
He watched Han Feng grow up from a young age and can be 100% certain that Han Feng has not practiced before. But now he has a strong cultivation. It is obvious that there are many problems. Is it possible that he is not the crown prince? Someone wants to pretend to be the crown prince and seize the Han family's gold mine, or even everything of the Han family. As for why they look the same. The art of human skin and facial contouring can be achieved. The butler speculated on this possibility. He felt that the person in front of him was not Han Feng, but had disguised himself using the technique of disguise. At the thought of this, the butler's eyes flickered. I can't die, I have to save my son. A hint of malice flashed in his eyes. He lowered his head and secretly glanced at Han Feng. Seeing Han Feng's attention seemingly not focused on him, a hint of cruelty flashed in his eyes. Shua only see. The butler suddenly took out a dagger from his arms and fiercely stabbed Han Feng. Seeking death. Han Feng's eyes froze and his sharpness flickered. Then he reached out and grabbed the butler's wrist, instantly snatching the dagger away. With a backhand slash, he stabbed the dagger towards the butler's heart. Pup the dagger pierced through the heart. The butler's expression froze, his eyes widened with a look of shock. Without a chance to scream out loud, he passed out of breath and died. Han Feng looked at the dead butler lying on the ground with a calm expression. The butler was threatened by the Jade Tiger and plotted to harm his master because of his son's situation. In this mansion, there must be people who obey the orders of the Jade Tiger, as well as spies of the deputy general, and so on. It seems that after the arrival of the heavenly killer and the 100 elite villains, a thorough cleaning of all the people in the mansion is necessary. Han Feng's eyes were fixed, and he had already made a decision in his heart. And at this moment, the familiar and pleasant prompt sound suddenly rang out in Han Feng's mind. Ding, trigger task. Clean up the palace's traitors. Ha! Huh. Can this still trigger system tasks? Han Feng's eyes flashed brightly. Immediately, my heart moved and I directly chose to claim it. Subsequently, he began to examine the other items inside the box. Most of the items stored in this box are promissory notes. They are all promissory notes borrowed from their original father by outsiders. Hmm. Hanan wanted to attack Baiyue, but due to lack of money, he borrowed one million tails of silver as expenses. Among the many IOUs, Han Feng saw a IOU related to Hanan. After reading it, he basically learned about the situation. Hanan wanted to deal with Baiyue earlier, but due to not having enough money. Therefore, he specifically borrowed one million tails from his original father as military expenses, recruiting troops, buying horses, and so on. Later, with the help of this money, Hanan successfully achieved great success. Over the years, due to this achievement, he has also ascended to the position of crown prince. Hanan is now 35 years old. However, he still holds the position of crown prince. Because King Huanhui of Han did not abdicate and firmly controlled the throne. According to the understanding, Hanan should succeed to the throne in two years. But these are all small things. The real situation is that for many years, Hanan still hasn't paid back the money. By the way, as for why is the original father so wealthy? It was lent to Jade Tiger again, and it was also lent to Hanan. The reason is the gold mines within the fiefdom. This gold mine, which has been mined for many years, is still incredibly rich. Conservatively speaking, there are at least tens of millions of silver left. It's normal to be targeted at such a lucrative gold mine. At this point. Hmm. Is someone here? Han Feng frowned slightly. After breaking through the realm of cultivation, Han Feng's sensing ability became even stronger. The newcomer seems to be very powerful. Did Tian Sha Star arrive? Han Feng did not sense the killing intent of the incoming person, so he speculated. However, he did not let his guard down. Han Feng's figure moved and hid. 
and just when Han Fong was hiding. The figure of the visitor arrived outside the study. He is the heavenly killing star, one of the 36 colonel of the heavenly gang just summoned by Han Fong. The heavenly killer star has come to meet his master. Tian Sha Xing stood outside the study and spoke loudly, his voice filled with respect and loyalty Han Fong, whose room was hidden in the dark, immediately relaxed upon hearing this. Immediately. Han Fong walked out of the darkness. Come in. His voice rang out, his tone cold and majestic. Upon hearing this, Tian Sha Xing lifted his foot and walked into the study. I've met my master. Tian Sha star bows and salutes. Mmm. Han Fong nodded. Has a hundred elite and bad people arrived yet? Han Feng's gaze was fixed on the celestial killer. Report to the master that it has arrived, just outside the mansion. Tian Sha star reports loudly. Okay. Han Feng's face showed a satisfied expression. Immediately, he ordered, Heavenly Kill Star, there must still be spies in the mansion. Tonight, please clean up everyone in the mansion and make sure to uncover all the spies. It's the master. Tian Sha Star shouted in command. Han Fong nodded. The eagle's eyes turned and landed on the butler's corpse on the ground. Take this corpse with you. It's the master. Tian Sha Star took command. Immediately pick up the butler's body. Han Fong nodded slightly and put down the promissory note in his hand. The matter of Han En's debt will be dealt with later. He turned around and walked towards the outside of the room. Upon seeing this, Tian Sha Xing dragged the butler's body behind him. Han Fong led the heavenly killer star, dragging the butler's body all the way towards the front courtyard of the mansion, which frightened many people. Many people with ulterior motives sneak aside and pass on messages to the outside world. After Han Fong arrived at the front yard, he ordered the guards to sound the alarm. The alarm sounded sharp and piercing, immediately causing a commotion. Everyone inside the mansion was amazed upon hearing this. But they didn't dare to delay, so they quickly put down their current tasks and came to gather. About 15 minutes. Everyone in the mansion gathered in the front yard. Seeing Han Fong and Tian Sha star above the steps, as well as the body of the butler lying on the ground, some were surprised, some were curious, and some were afraid. Their expressions varied. But at this moment, in front of Han Fong, who looked solemn, no one dared to make any noise. Han Fong stood on the steps, his gaze coldly sweeping over the crowd, a sense of solemnity permeating the air. He said coldly, I think you all know what's going on, right? The butler betrayed this prince, so he died. After Han Fong finished speaking, his sharp gaze swept over everyone again. Anyone among you who has ulterior motives, the butler's fate tonight is your fate. A person who dares to betray cannot escape. Han Fang's murderous aura flickered and his expression was solemn. His words immediately caused a disturbance. 04, Breakthrough Again Sudden Enemy Situation You are listening at Novel Full Audio. In the crowd The loyal person was filled with righteous indignation, clenched their fists, and was filled with indignation towards someone with ulterior motives like the butler. And some people with ghosts in their hearts clearly recognized the meaning behind Han Feng's words, their faces pale, and their hearts flustered. Some people, afraid of being caught later, pushed aside the person in front of them and fled outside. Han Fong watched, his expression motionless, without stopping them from escaping. However, when these fleeing people jump onto the wall, thinking they can escape. But he was kicked back by a hundred elite villains who had been waiting outside for a long time. Afterwards, on the walls in all directions, figures flickered. In the blink of an eye, the wall was filled with elite and unscrupulous people. Next up, outside the gate, several elite and unscrupulous people escorted several people who left to report the butler's accident as soon as they saw it. Soon, these people, along with those who had just wanted to escape and kicked back, 
were escorted to the steps by elite villains. In front of everyone with different expressions below, the elite villain raised his sword in his hand. Poo 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 hand wielding knife, blood raging. The heads of these spies rolled down the steps one after another, reaching the feet of the crowd below. Everyone was frightened into silence, unable to breathe heavily. Due to fear and fear, their bodies involuntarily trembled. Han Feng's sharp gaze drifted over them and then fell on Tian Sha Star. Tian Sha Xing, the rest of the review matter is up to you. After tonight, I want no more dissidents inside the castle. His tone was calm, but his killing intent was cold. Yes, master. Tian Sha Xing clenched his fists and loudly took command. Han Feng nodded slightly. Immediately turn around and leave. The next thing will naturally be assisted by Tian Sha Xing, and he doesn't need to personally review it. After Han Feng left, Tian Sha Star began to investigate and interrogate the personnel inside the castle one by one. Initiate a major cleaning operation. After returning to his room, Han Feng began to practice. The next day arrived as scheduled. When the first ray of sunlight shone through the window into the room and onto Han Feng's face. Han Feng suddenly opened his eyes, their radiance exploding. This is not a breakthrough in his cultivation or an increase in his strength. But it was a pleasant reminder sound from the system that rang in his mind. Ding, complete task. Clean up the traitors in the mansion. Congratulations to the host for obtaining. Tian Xian Star, from the world of villains, congratulations to the host for obtaining. 100 Elite Villains, from the World of Villains, congratulations to the host for obtaining. Perfect Meditation Technique. Congratulations to the host for obtaining. Two years of internal power, Tian Sha Xing has uncovered all the spies in the mansion. Very good. Han Feng's eyes flickered with satisfaction in his heart. Immediately, with a heart movement, the attribute panel of Tianxiangxing was called up. Tianxiangxing, Tian Gang 36 Colonel. From the world of villains, influence. Bad person, cultivation. Late congenital stage, innate late stage. A little higher than the heavenly killer star's realm. Not bad. With two innate experts by my side, I can rest assured again. Han Feng's eyes flickered with satisfaction. Immediately, he silently recited in his heart, Summon the heavenly idol star. Summon a hundred elite villains. Ding summoned successfully the villainous Tian Gang 36 Colonel Tianxiangxing and 100 elite villains are rushing towards the host, expected to arrive around half a burning incense stick Han Feng nodded slightly. Subsequently, his gaze fell on the system's reward technique. Meditation techniques. Han Feng's eyes lit up. Previously. The iron cloth shirt is clearly a physical cultivation technique. Yulongbu is a speed body technique. The current meditation technique, just by its name, is a technique that enhances mental power. Body, speed, spirit, and three aspects. That's right, if you want to be an unparalleled hero, you must arm yourself comprehensively. To protect oneself, one must be flawless. Han Feng flashed an idea. Subsequently, extract the internal strength for two years. View personal properties panel. Han Feng's heart twitched. Immediately, I started to check. Host. Han Feng. Age. 18 years old, cultivation. Later period after tomorrow, body technique. Iron cloth shirt, speed body method. Dragon walking step, spiritual skill. Meditation technique, experts under our command. Tian Sha Star and Tian Xian Star elite under our command. 200 elite and not good people, item. None. After two years of internal strength, I have once again broken through a small level, from the mid to late stage of my life. A physical body, the iron cloth shirt is perfect, a speed, the dragon walking step is perfect, and there is also a spirit, the meditation technique is perfect. 
My strength has increased again. Han Fang's eyes sparkled with joy. At this moment, there was a slight movement coming from outside. Hmm, someone's here. Does Tian Sha Star come to me to report the results of the battle? Upon hearing the commotion, Han Fang's thoughts returned. He, who has completed his meditation, has already become very strong in his ability to sense. His spiritual energy can now be released outside the courtyard. Sure enough. A burst of light footsteps came. Not for a while. The sound of Tian Sha Star knocking on the door came from outside the room. Come in. Han Feng's calm and majestic voice spread out. After speaking, he got out of bed. Creaking after hearing Han Feng's words, Tian Sha Xing outside gently pushed the door in. I've met my master. Tian Sha star bows and salutes. Han Feng nodded slightly and said, How have things been done? Report to the master that all the spies in the mansion have been cleared. Tian Sha Xing's expression was firm. Very good. Han Feng sincerely praised it. But it seemed that Tian Sha Star was absent minded and his expression was still a bit anxious. Han Feng's eyes flickered with a hint of doubt before asking, what happened? Upon hearing this, Tian Sha Xing bowed slightly and clenched his fists to report, Master, someone from the gold mine just reported that it was the bandits from the White Wolf stronghold who once again attacked the gold mine, stole a lot of gold, and even killed many of us. And there seems to be no sign of wanting to leave, still constantly harassing and attacking, our people in the gold mine are probably on the verge of resisting. When Tian Sha Xing mentioned that the mountain bandits had stolen gold and killed many people, his killing intent flashed. This gold mine and the people inside it belong to his master Han Feng, and no one can get involved. Can the news be true? Upon hearing this, Han Feng's eyes lit up with a cold gleam. My original father was attacked and killed by bandits from the White Wolf stronghold. These mountain bandits dare to attack the gold mine so boldly. They have eaten the courage of ambitious leopards and are not afraid of death. He now possesses two innate experts, Tian Sha Xing and Tian Xian Xing, as well as two hundred elite villains. There should be no problem dealing with the bandits of the White Wolf stronghold. If the news is true, he happened to make a trip to aid the gold mine. Meanwhile, investigate the cause of death of the original father. And just as Han Feng had this idea, a pleasant reminder sound rang in his mind. Ding, trigger task. Guard the gold mine and eliminate the incoming mountain bandits. Han Feng's eyes sparkled as he heard the sound. Take on the task. Without any hesitation, he took on the task directly. Then, his gaze fell on Tian Sha Star. 05, the gold mine is in danger, rushing to rescue it. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Report to the Master. The news is true. Tian Sha Xing's expression remained upright and he responded firmly. Immediately, with a sad expression on his face, he continued to report, Master, the person who came back to report the news has been stabbed several times in the body and hit by a sharp arrow on the back. When he returned, he was already on the brink of death, relying only on one breath to hold on. He just finished reporting to his subordinates, but he lost his breath and sacrificed himself. Tian Sha Star's face showed a look of admiration. The person who came back to report the news, with a few knives and arrows in his body, fought his last breath to bring the news back. It can be seen that his loyalty to his own master can be seen from day and month. Such a loyal person is worthy of admiration. Upon hearing this, Han Feng's expression immediately darkened. The person who came back to report the news, so seriously injured, must have fought to break through the encirclement, and was also intercepted and chased by the bandits of the White Wolf stronghold. It can also be seen from this that the current situation of the gold mine is very critical, and it is even feared that it has been conquered by the bandits of the White Wolf village. Han Feng's cold eyes flickered as he gazed at the celestial killer star and said, Is there any specific situation with the mountain bandits? 
what is the current situation with the gold mine? Tian Sha Xing reported, Master, according to the informant, the number of people who attacked the gold mine in the White Wolf Village this time is not many, only about 200 people. However, these mountain bandits are all skilled in martial arts, ruthless and experienced in countless battles, the hundreds of our remaining servants guarding the gold mine are no match for them at all. On the night when the bandits attacked the gold mine, our remaining guards at the mine were almost halved, while the bandits in White Wolf Village suffered very little damage. Later, if it weren't for the miners inside the gold mine joining in defense and helping to resist the bandits, the gold mine might have been directly captured by the bandits. The messenger said that when he broke through, there were already less than a hundred guards in the gold mine who could fight. Tian Sha Star had a solemn expression. Bold. The bandits of the White Wolf Village dare to be so rampant, they will definitely be destroyed and avenged for everyone. Han Feng's eyes flickered with a cold gleam, and a murderous aura permeated his body. The temperature inside the room instantly cooled down. Tian Sha Xing obeys the order and immediately gathers his team to quickly support the gold mine with me, annihilating the invading mountain bandits. Han Feng had a murderous and cold aura, with a sharp and domineering tone that was beyond doubt. Whether it is true that only over 200 people have come to the White Wolf Village this time, or whether they have poured out a nest, or a conspiracy against him. This time, he had to personally go to the gold mine and kill these bandits from the White Wolf Village. At the same time, it is possible to complete tasks and investigate the cause of death of the original father. It's the master. Tian Sha Xing's expression remained upright, bowing down to take orders. Han Feng is about to leave. There was a sound of footsteps coming from outside. Han Feng's eyes moved and he stopped walking. Tian Sha Xing stood behind Han Feng, his gaze fixed on the door, his expression calm. Soon. The person who came quickly walked in, clearly a loyal servant of the castle. After he entered, he knelt on one knee, clasped his fists in both hands, and reported to Han Feng, tell the crown prince that there is a person claiming to be the heavenly idol star who is seeking an audience outside the mansion. Upon hearing these words, Han Feng's expression lit up with joy. The idol star arrived at the right time on this day. Okay. You let him wait outside the mansion, and I'll be there soon. Han Feng instructed this servant. It's the master. This famous master Ding embraced his fists and took orders. Then he stood up, retreated, and went to deliver the message. After thinking for a moment, Han Feng turned his head to look at Tian Sha Star and ordered, Tian Sha Star, gather people and follow me to support the gold mine and annihilate the invading mountain bandits. Also, immediately send someone to the camp and have Vice General Li Wu gather his army to support the gold mine. The gold mine is now in jeopardy, and it is even feared that it has fallen into the hands of mountain bandits. The only thing Han Feng needs to do now is to immediately lead the Xientian Killing Star, Tian Xian Star, and elite villains to set off first. Time is tight, there is no room for any delay. As for Vice General Li Wu, will he obey orders and lead his army to come? Han Feng has already considered it from the bottom of his heart. This is also a test for Vice General Li Wu. It's the master. Tian Sha Xing clenched his fists and took command. Han Feng nodded slightly. Then, he turned around and left the room. Tian Sha Star followed closely behind. Soon. Tian Sha Star arranged everything and gathered the team. Han Feng sat on the warhorse, his gaze passing over Tian Sha Star and Tian Xian Star, followed by two hundred elite villains and over a hundred elite servants. Seeing the magnificent momentum of his troops, Han Feng was full of energy. So elite, why fear the mere bandits of the White Wolf Village? Immediately. He adjusted the horse's head and lightly pinched his feet. The law of lamentation, the warhorse let out a long cry towards the sky, and then leaped out like a cannon arrow. The law of lamentation, Tian Sha Xing, Tian Xian Xing and others followed closely behind, riding horses to keep up. The group, without stopping, 
headed straight for the gold mine. On this side of the gold mine. Ah! Guard Commander Han Meng killed a mountain bandit. Raising his hand to wipe away the blood from his cheeks, disregarding the injuries on his body, he shouted loudly, the reinforcements are coming soon, everyone must hold on. And his voice once again attracted several mountain bandits to come over. Kill. Han Meng was completely fearless, and after a roar, he welcomed him. Ah! He chopped down two more mountain bandits. However. He, who had already been scarred and exhausted, faced several mountain bandits who had surrounded him, and his fists were unbeatable with four hands. Commander, be careful. Several guards saw the situation and killed the mountain bandits in front of them, rushing over to support them. Pup Han Meng's back was exposed and he was successfully attacked by a mountain bandit. However, the mountain bandit didn't have time to be happy, so he was slashed off his head by Han Meng's backhand. Then he chopped down two mountain bandits. Ha, ha, ha Han Meng was panting heavily. Just being cut, the pain hit, and my eyes turned black and my brain was dizzy. Stumbling and about to fall to the ground. Commander. Just ran over to support several guards who arrived in time and helped him. Seeing that Han Meng was seriously injured, he quickly protected him and retreated. You let go of me, I want to kill them, I want to kill them. Han Mengdong's dizziness had disappeared and he roared angrily for the guards to let go of him. Commander, leave the Green Mountain safe and clear, let's break through quickly. A guard grabbed Han Meng and advised him to flee quickly. Han Lu, fuck your mother. Han Meng shouted angrily upon hearing the words. Immediately, he struggled to break free. If you want to escape, Han Meng will definitely not be a deserter. Previously, Marquis was attacked, and I, Han Meng, saw him fall in front of me with my own eyes, but I couldn't save him. I feel guilty towards the Marquis and the Crown Prince. Now the gold mine has been attacked and robbed by bandits from the White Wolf stronghold. I'm sorry to the Crown Prince. Even if I die, I will die in the gold mine and never leave the mine. After Han Meng finished speaking, he raised his sword and rushed towards the mountain bandits who were chasing him. Commander. Called by Han Meng as Han Lu's guard, he urgently called out. Then, a hint of determination flashed in my eyes. Brothers, killing one is enough, killing two is enough to make a profit. It's a leader, follow me and fight the bandits together. Kill. After Han Lu finished speaking, he let out a roar and rushed forward. Kill. The remaining guards now have no need to doubt their loyalty or courage. Chi Chi let out a roar and rushed forward. Soon. I started fighting with the mountain bandits again. However. Despite their desperate battle, they were still pushed back by the bandits, and the situation was precarious. And Han Meng, surrounded by several mountain bandits, has the possibility of being chopped down at any time. Those guards wanted to come and rescue, but they couldn't get away at all. Ah! Han Meng fought hard and killed another mountain bandit. Ha, ha, ha Han Meng stood on the ground with his big knife, holding the handle with both hands, panting heavily. At this moment, he was already exhausted and couldn't lift any strength. No, at this moment, he was already scarred and didn't fall down with just one breath. Several mountain bandits surrounding Han Meng, one of whom had a flash in his eye and wielded a knife to attack Han Meng. Commander. Han Lu exclaimed in an urgent voice upon seeing the situation. However. He is some distance away from Han Meng, and there are bandits blocking his way in front of him, so there is no time to rescue him. Seeing Han Meng about to be chopped down by mountain bandits. Jiu an arrow rang out. Pup the sharp arrow blinked and instantly pierced through the neck of the mountain bandit. The mountain bandit suddenly froze and died from exhaustion. The sudden scene caused the guards and mountain bandits who were fighting to be one of them, and they coincidentally stopped fighting. The reinforcements have arrived. Han Meng's mouth opened wide. 
Although he didn't even have the strength to lift his eyelids and speak, at this moment, his face was filled with a smile. He seemed to have seen his own crown prince personally leading troops to rescue them. 06. No one left. Elite villains are as strong as ever. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Not bad the person who just saved Han Meng is Han Fong. He led the Heavenly Killing Star, the Heavenly Idol Star, 200 elite villains, and a hundred servants, galloping all the way without stopping, rushing towards him. Finally arrived in time. If there is a slight delay, all the remaining guards and miners in the valley will probably be killed by the mountain bandits. Seeing the guards and corpses of miners scattered throughout the valley, Han Feng's eyes flickered with a cold light, exuding a murderous aura. The next moment. He ordered in a cold tone, there are no bandits in front of you. The number of bandits in front of us is around 200. It seems that he is not the main force of the bandits in the White Wolf stronghold, so Han Feng is too lazy to ask questions. It's the master. The Heavenly Killing Star and the Heavenly Idol Star have received orders and are leading the way together. Subsequently, the two of them fixed their eyes and rode forward on horseback. Chang the sword is unsheathed, pointing towards the clouds. Master has orders, don't leave any bandits in front of you. Everyone, let me kill you. The two of them shouted loudly. Then, they all rushed out first. Kill. Two hundred elite villains and a hundred servants shouted in unison, following closely behind the heavenly killing star and heavenly idol star, like a fierce tiger descending the mountain, surrounding and killing the bandits of the white wolf stronghold. The delinquent soldiers wear fishermen hats on their heads and ghost masks made of black iron that only show their eyes and mouth, emitting a cold and murderous intent. They are both mysterious and eerie, with a strong deterrent power. Wearing a unique black court uniform with a cloak embroidered with the emblem of a wicked person, the emblem is mainly golden, paired with deep red and black lines, appearing solemn and mysterious. Lightweight boots, agile and agile. With Tian Sha Star, Tian Xian Star led the villains and servants to launch an attack. The bandits, guards, and miners present all came to their senses. Kill. After a moment of panic, the mountain bandit quickly calmed down. They abandoned their guards and miners one after another, and approached the celestial killing star with their swords. Here we go. The reinforcements are really here. Han Lu burst into tears of joy and excitement, shouting loudly. The guards and miners behind him, at this moment, were also crying with joy and tears streaming down their faces. They are saved. Ha everyone's tense expression suddenly relaxed. Dong after confirming that the reinforcements had indeed arrived, Han Meng's expression relaxed and he could no longer hold on, falling to the ground. Commander. Han Lu saw this and quickly stumbled over. And here. Tian Sha Xing, Tian Xian Xing leading the troops, has already engaged in a fight with the mountain bandits. No, it should be the slaughter beginning. A hundred soldiers, with average combat power. But two hundred elites are not good people, with strong strength. Under the guidance of the Heavenly Killing Star and the Heavenly Idol Star, it feels like entering an uninhabited realm and chopping down mountain bandits is like chopping watermelons. Poo 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 blood is raging, blood splatters. At the moment of contact, the heads of many mountain bandits were chopped off and flew away by the soldiers of the villains. The guards and miners who were just worried about whether the reinforcements could withstand the mountain bandits and were about to come forward with their swords to help were suddenly fooled on the spot. The scene before them was beyond their expectations. In their eyes, the terrifying and powerful mountain bandits are not the enemy of reinforcements. When these guards and miners are stunned, the killing of mountain bandits by villains is still ongoing. These elite and unscrupulous individuals fight on their own, yet cooperate with each other, and their actions flow smoothly like flowing water. Like in different killing machines, invincible. The bandits of the White Wolf Village couldn't resist their attack at all, and they collapsed with just one strike, completely out of a passive situation of chopping and killing. 
Faced with these elite villains, they were helpless, their morale instantly collapsed, and then began to scatter and flee. However, elite villains do not give these bandits from the White Wolf Village any chance to escape. They quickly chased the fleeing mountain bandits like cheetahs. In the blink of an eye, nearly 200 bandits from the White Wolf Village were annihilated, with no survivors, as the last fleeing bandit fell. Moreover, none of these mountain bandits were able to escape the fate of being beheaded. And 200 elite villains, surprisingly, none of them suffered any damage, at most only minor injuries. It can be seen from this that bad people are powerful. Of course, the other 100 families lost some people. But it's not important. Because this is a big victory. From Han Fong leading his troops to rescue Han Meng, to the villains annihilating all the mountain bandits, it was just a stick of incense. At this moment, within and outside the entire valley, corpses were scattered everywhere, and blood flowed into a river. Han Fong watched everything calmly, his expression calm and composed. Report to the master that all the mountain bandits in the gold mine have been ambushed and executed. Tian Sha Xing rushed to Han Fong and reported loudly with his fists clasped. Okay. You've worked hard. Han Fong nodded slightly. Immediately, he instructed Tian Sha Star, Tian Sha Star, immediately arrange for everyone to fully rescue the wounded. Anyone who still has a breath must be rescued. Han Feng's expression was resolute, and his tone was unquestionable. These desperate mountain bandits, supported by the guards and miners he rushed to rescue, deserve his sincere treatment. It's the master. Tian Sha Xing clenched his fists and took command. Immediately turned around and went to execute Han Feng's orders. And Han Feng's eyes suddenly lit up. Because of the familiar pleasant prompt sound, it rang in his mind. Ding, complete task. Guard the gold mine and eliminate the invading mountain bandits. Congratulations to the host for obtaining. Tianwei Star, from the world of villains, congratulations to the host for obtaining. 300 elite villains, congratulations to the host for obtaining the perfect bronze statue skill congratulations to the host for obtaining. Two years of internal power, reward Tianwei Star. There are still 300 elite villains. Very good. Han Feng's eyes flickered with satisfaction. Immediately, with a movement in my heart, I called up the attribute panel of Tianweixing. Tianweixing, Tiangang 36 Colonel. From the world of villains, influence. Bad person, cultivation. Innate peak, innate peak. One level higher than Tianxian star. Two levels higher than Tian Sha Star. Tian Sha Star's mid innate cultivation, Tian Xian Star's late innate cultivation, and now Tian Wei Star's peak innate cultivation. Very good. With three innate experts by my side, what I need to do next will be even easier. Han Feng nodded slightly, very satisfied. Then, with a movement in his heart, he silently recited, Summon the Heavenly Micro Star. Summon 300 elite villains. Ding summoned successfully, the villain Tian Gang 36 Colonel Tian Weixing, as well as 300 elite villains, are rushing towards the host, expected to arrive around half a burning incense stick. Han Feng nodded slightly. Subsequently, his gaze fell on the system's reward techniques and internal power. Bronze Statue Technique a more powerful physical technique than iron cloth shirt technique. Han Feng's eyes lit up and his face showed a joyful expression. Later, Han Feng awarded the bronze statue merit and two years of internal strength for extraction. View Personal Properties Panel Han Feng's heart twitched. Immediately, I started to check. Host Han Feng Age 18 years old Cultivation. Peak of the day after tomorrow, body technique. Bronze statue technique, perfection, speed body method. Dragon walking step, perfect, spiritual technique. Meditation technique, perfection, experts under our command. 
Tian Sha Star, Tian Xian Star, Tian Wei Star Elite under our command. 500 Elite and Not Good People Item. None. Two years of internal power reward, breaking through a small level, from the later stage of the day after tomorrow to the peak of the day after tomorrow. My physical body technique has advanced to become the bronze statue technique, and my physique has become even stronger. Han Fang's eyes sparkled with joy. And at this moment, Tian Sha Xing walked over, hesitating to speak, as if he had something to say. 07. Trigger Task. Destroy the White Wolf Village. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Han Fang's thoughts returned. His gaze fell on Tian Sha Star, and a hint of surprise flashed in his eyes. What's up? Tian Sha Xing clenched his fists and reported, Master, the commander of the guards, Han Meng, wants to see you. He said he has something urgent to report to you. Upon hearing this, Han Feng's eyes flashed with a hint of doubt. Immediately, he nodded and said, Take me to see him. It's the master. Tian Sha Xing responded with a clasped fist. Immediately. Under the leadership of Tian Sha Star, Han Feng met the commander of the guards, Han Meng. At this moment, Han Meng was lying in bed, out of breath. He relied on his perseverance in his heart to hold on to this breath and not let it break. World. Crown Prince. Han Meng struggled to get up when he saw Han Feng arrive. Uncle Meng. Han Feng quickly stepped forward, crouched down, and held down Han Meng to prevent him from getting up. At the moment of seeing Han Meng, his original memories about him flashed through his mind one by one. This Han Meng, like Li Wu, is a confidant of the Han family. Li Wu became a deputy general and assisted Han Feng's father in commanding troops for external warfare. And Han Meng became the commander of the guards, responsible for protecting the Han family members and property. However, Li Wu seems to have a strange heart now. And Han Meng has always been loyal and steadfast. Now that he was about to die, Han Feng followed suit and called him Uncle Meng without any sense of discord. Where's the doctor? Hurry up and treat Uncle Meng. Han Feng turned his head and shouted to the crowd behind him. World. Crown Prince. Han Meng heard Han Feng call him Meng Shu and saw Han Feng so anxiously worried about him, with a relieved smile on his face. Crown Prince. Listen to me. Han Meng grabbed Han Feng's hand tightly and gestured for him to listen. This grab seemed to consume a lot of his strength again. At this moment, his face became even paler. Upon seeing this, Han Feng's eyes flickered with a hint of hesitation. But under Han Meng's pleading gaze, he finally nodded. Upon seeing this, Han Meng showed a slight smile on his face and loosened his grip on Han Feng. The crown prince, I am incompetent and failed to protect the marquee. Han Meng choked up as he spoke, tears streaming down his eyes. Looking at Han Feng, there was a look of apology. Uncle Meng, you did your best. It's none of your business, you don't have to blame yourself. Han Feng held Han Meng's hand with his back and comforted him. Han Meng shook his head gently and said, The crown prince, it was the bandits from the White Wolf Village who caused the Marquis' death. Also. And the bandits who attacked the gold mine this time are also. They are also the same. Han Meng can't live anymore, he can't avenge the Marquis. Crown prince. You must avenge the Marquis. And. And avenge the deceased brothers. Han Meng spoke incoherently and stuttered. Upon hearing this, Han Feng nodded with a firm expression. Even if Han Meng doesn't say it, he doesn't intend to let go of the bandits in the White Wolf Village. Han Meng saw Han Feng nod and a pleased smile appeared on his face. With a relaxed expression, the strong breath that had persisted until now instantly dissipated. His eyelids slowly closed. Then, the quiet fairy passed away. There was a smile on his face. It seems that after descending to the lower level, I am happy to follow my own marquee through life and death. 
Uncle Meng. Han Feng shouted loudly and urgently. However, he did not receive any response. The crowd behind them looked at all of this with a sad expression on their faces. The atmosphere in the room is sad. Take a few breaths. Han Feng's emotions have adjusted. He held Han Meng's hand and said firmly, Uncle Meng, don't worry, I will definitely destroy the White Wolf Village and avenge you. Han Feng's eyes flickered with a cold gleam, and his body was filled with murderous energy. And at this moment, the pleasant prompt sound of the system rang in his mind. Ding, trigger task. Destroy the White Wolf Village. Take on the task. Han Feng didn't even think about it and directly took it down. Even if the system task is not triggered, he will still go to the White Wolf stronghold and eliminate the bandits inside. Nowadays, triggering system tasks is like adding icing on the cake. His determination to defeat the bandits of the White Wolf stronghold has become even stronger. And at this moment, a miner walked into the outer door and knelt down on one knee, reporting to Han Feng, tell the crown prince that there is a person outside the valley who claims to be a celestial microstar seeking an audience. Upon hearing this, Han Feng's eyes flickered. Immediately stood up and turned around. His gaze fell on the miner, get up. It's the crown prince. The miner responded with a clasped fist. Then he stood up and waited for Han Feng's instructions. Han Feng did not instruct him, but looked at Tian Sha Star and ordered, Tian Sha Star, you should personally go and pick up Tian Wei Star to come in. Yes, and the 300 elite villains he brought. Han Feng's tone was calm. It's the master. Upon hearing this, Tian Sha Xing's expression froze for a moment before quickly reacting. He didn't question Han Feng's orders, but was surprised that Tian Wei Star had brought more people than he and Tian Xian Star combined. That's all for it. Tian Sha Star hopes to attract more and more elite villains. In this way, his owner Han Feng can do whatever he wants. Then, Tian Sha Xing walked out with the miner who had just entered. Not for a while. Tian Sha Star appeared in front of Han Feng with Tian Wei Star. Tian Weixing pays respects to its master. After Tian Weixing walked in, he bowed to Han Feng. Mmm. Han Feng nodded slightly. After looking at Tian Wei Star for a moment, he said, Tian Wei Star, you came just in time. I need you to personally investigate and inquire about something. Master, it doesn't matter. I will do my best to investigate and investigate thoroughly. Tian Weixing responded loudly. Okay. Han Feng nodded and liked. Then, he directly ordered, Tian Weixing, immediately bring fifteen elite villains who are good at lurking and disguising to the White Wolf Stronghold, and let me know the situation of the White Wolf Stronghold without any mistakes. Han Feng's expression was resolute and unquestionable. The number of people should not be too large, as it is easy to expose. About fifteen people, just right. It's the master. Please rest assured, master. I will investigate inside and outside the White Wolf Village thoroughly. Tian Wei Star has a confident expression and loudly accepts orders. That's great. Han Feng nodded slightly. Upon seeing the situation, Tian Weixing immediately bowed and retreated to execute Han Feng's orders. 08. Pour out all your efforts. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After Tian Weixing left, Han Feng's gaze fell on Tiangxiangxing. Tiangxiangxing, immediately lead the elite villains who Tiangxiangxing did not take away to clean the battlefield, bury the bodies, and prevent the occurrence of epidemics. Remember, bury the guards and miners who died in battle properly. Han Feng directly ordered Tiangxiangxing. It's the master. The idle stars hear orders and embrace their fists to take orders. Immediately retreated and went to execute Han Feng's orders. And Han Feng's eyes turned and fell on Tian Sha Xing, ordering, Tian Sha Xing, immediately lead people to place the wounded. 
At the same time, make sure to defend the valley in guard against the attack of bandits from the White Wolf stronghold. It's the master. Tian Sha Xing clenched his fists and accepted the order. Then he turned around and retreated. After the departure of Tian Xian Star and Tian Sha Star, Han Feng gathered all the surviving guards and miners, comforted them, and promised to reward every meritorious person once the White Wolf Fortress was destroyed. The surviving guards and miners were filled with joy upon hearing these words, and their hearts were filled with anticipation. At the same time, he became even more loyal to Han Feng. In the evening, Han Feng walked out of the wounded room and was about to return to the room that Tian Sha Star had already prepared for him. Tian Sha Star came with a guard to report. Han Feng glanced at Tian Sha Star and a hint of doubt flashed in his eyes. Then, his gaze fell on the guard brought by the celestial killer and he said, What do you need to report? The guard, upon seeing the situation, quickly knelt down on one knee and apologized, I am incompetent, please do not come for reinforcements. Please forgive me, Crown Prince. Upon hearing this, Han Feng immediately understood what was going on. The guard in front of me should be the one sent by the Heavenly Killer Star to send a message, asking Deputy General Li Wu to lead troops to support the people in the gold mine. Tell me specifically about Li Wu's reaction. Han Feng is not angry but mighty. Report to the crown prince that after my subordinates arrived at the camp, they were stopped by the guards and could not enter the camp at all. I could not see Vice General Li Wu. I waited outside the camp for several hours before seeing Vice General Li Wu who had returned from outside. I conveyed your order to the crown prince, but Vice General Li Wu refused to send troops immediately, citing that it would take time for the army to gather and that the sky was getting dark and it was not appropriate to send troops. He said that he would lead troops to rescue early tomorrow morning. The guard reported truthfully in one breath. Upon hearing these words, Han Feng sneered inwardly. He had already anticipated such a result. He knew that Lieutenant General Li Wu might find an excuse not to come. The reason why Tian Sha Xing sent people to ask Vice General Li Wu to send troops to rescue the gold mine was just to test Li Wu. Now, it has been tested. This Deputy General Li Wu is definitely problematic. Similarly, we cannot keep it. After he finishes cleaning up the bandits of the White Wolf stronghold, the next step is the Deputy General Li Wu. Han Feng's eyes flashed with a cold light. Immediately, his gaze fell on the guard and he said expressionlessly, I'm sorry you're not guilty. Get up. Upon hearing this, the guard's nervous heart suddenly relaxed. Immediately, he quickly kowtowed to Han Feng and said, Thank you very much for your forgiveness, Crown Prince. Then he stood up and stood aside, waiting for instructions. Han Feng ignored him, but his gaze fell on Tian Sha Xing and asked, Is there anything else important to report? After thinking for a moment, Tian Sha Xing immediately met Han Feng's gaze and clasped his fists, saying, Master, should I personally go and kill him? Han Feng had just shown a hint of killing intent towards his deputy general Li Wu, and Tian Sha Xing naturally sensed it. So, he volunteered. Upon hearing this, Han Feng shook his head and said, Don't worry. Let him live an extra two days. For now, let's first deal with the bandits in the White Wolf Village and prioritize guarding the gold mine. Han Feng refused the offer of Tian Sha Star. On the one hand, Li Wu's strength is not weak, and he is also an innate realm. Tian Sha Xing may not necessarily be an opponent. Moreover, it is still in their military camp. It's the master. Tian Sha Xing knew that Han Feng had made up his mind, so he didn't say anything more. Then he bid farewell to Han Feng and left with the guards he had just brought. After they left, Han Feng headed towards his room. Then he began to cultivate. During Han Feng's cultivation. Nanyang Dang Village. What? Li Wu exclaimed in surprise and stood above, looking incredulously at the scout in front of him. This scout is the captain of the scout he sent to investigate the situation of the gold mine, 
and also one of his confidants. General Hui, this is true. When I arrived with my subordinates, the battle had already ended for quite some time. The crown prince's men are burying the bodies of bandits. The captain of the scout reported truthfully. Isn't it true that the gold mine will be captured soon? Why were over two hundred mountain bandits destroyed by the people brought by the crown prince? Li Wu looked incredulous. He knows the strength of the bandits in the White Wolf village. Are you sure that all the more than two hundred bandits from the White Wolf stronghold have been killed by the crown prince? Li Wu still doesn't want to accept the fact. General Hui, everything I say is true. When the crown prince's men buried the bodies of bandits, subordinates and others watched with their own eyes in the dark. The captain of the scout looked certain. Upon hearing this, Li Wu became furious and picked up the wine bowl on the desk, smashing it violently. Bang 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 the captain of the scout kneeling below trembled and dared not move to avoid Li Wu's anger towards him. The anger was vented, and Li Wu gradually calmed down. Li Wu's eyes were deep and gloomy, falling on the captain of the scout. The captain of the scout quickly spoke up and continued, General, I have found out that the crown prince has settled in the gold mine, and it seems that he has an intention to stay there for a long time. Upon hearing this, Li Wu's attention was immediately diverted. At the same time, his eyes quickly turned. Take a dozen or so breaths. Li Wu raised his eyes and looked at the captain of the scout, asking, How many guards are still around the crown prince? How many people can fight? Report to the general, there should be less than 400 guards around the crown prince, and less than 300 people capable of fighting. After careful consideration, the scout responded in this way. Okay. Upon hearing this, Li Wu did not doubt its existence. He knew that when Han Feng went to rescue the gold mine yesterday, he only brought 300 people. Based on the information previously transmitted from the gold mine, it is also speculated that this is the only person around the crown prince in his family. More than 200 mountain bandits were annihilated by their own crown prince. They should have been taken by the crown prince and joined forces with the remaining people in the gold mine to eliminate them. Li Wu's eyes quickly turned. Immediately. He has made a decision. Afterwards. He picked up a nearby brush and began to write letters. After the letter is completed. He looked at his subordinates and ordered, bring a letter and immediately go to the white wolf stronghold. Let all the bandits in the White Wolf stronghold come out and go to the gold mine to kill Han Fong. This opportunity is once in a lifetime. Obedience. My subordinate took the letter and quickly left. Han Fong. Li Wu's gaze was fierce, revealing a ferocious expression. Although I don't know how you managed to defeat the 200 mountain bandits, you actually live in the mining area, it's like seeking your own death. On this side of the White Wolf stronghold, it was quickly learned that his troops had been destroyed by Han Fong. Bang! The leader of the White Wolf village, White Wolf, smashed the teacup with a gloomy look on his face. Han Fong, you're looking for death. Kill me from the White Wolf village, I want you to die. At this moment. Report. There is a sound coming from outside. Immediately after, a subordinate from the White Wolf village came in. He bowed and said, Village leader, Li Wu has sent a letter. Bring it up, said the leader of the White Wolf village, White Wolf. Soon, his subordinates handed the letter to Wang Neng. White Wolf opened the letter and checked it. Hmm. Han Feng actually chose to stay in the gold mine for the night. White Wolf's eyes narrowed with a fierce light. How dare you stay overnight? It's like seeking death. 
he immediately made a decision. At the next moment, he shouted loudly, Someone here. Immediately gather all troops and horses, tonight, launch a night attack on the gold mine. I will behead Han Fong and pay tribute to his deceased brothers. Soon. The white wolf immediately gathered the remaining five hundred mountain bandits, poured out their nest, and rushed towards the gold mine with great momentum. 09. The Downfall of the White Wolf Village You are listening at NovelFull.audio The movements of the bandits in the White Wolf Fortress have long been controlled by Tianweixing and their team. Before the White Wolf Stronghold bandits set off, Tianweixing sent elite villains back to report to Han Fong, informing him of the intelligence behind the White Wolf Stronghold bandits. At night, Han Fong, who was in the room, moved his eyelashes slightly and immediately opened his eyes. It's not because there has been a breakthrough, but because someone has come from outside, and it seems like their footsteps are a bit hurried. Han Fang's eyes flickered, he finished his cultivation, got off the bed, and walked towards the door. And outside, the sound of Tian Sha star knocking on the door and softly calling rang out. Master. The heavenly killer star softly called out outside the door, with a somewhat anxious tone. Creaking Han Fong opened the door. Tian Sha Xing's expression froze for a moment, and his knocking hand suddenly stopped in the air. Immediately, he reacted and respectfully bowed, saying, Master. Han Fong nodded slightly and asked, What's up? Tian Sha star came in such a hurry, something must have happened. Report to the master that Tian Weixing has sent someone back to report the news. It said that around 500 bandits from the White Wolf Village are pouring out of their nest and heading towards us. It will arrive in about an hour. They are preparing to attack us at night. Tian Sha Star reports truthfully. Is the White Wolf Village pouring out its nest? It seems that someone can't hold back anymore. Upon hearing these words, Han Feng's eyes sparkled with coldness. I didn't expect the person in the dark to be so anxious that I couldn't wait for a whole day. It's just that there are only 500 bandits from the White Wolf stronghold. It's just a pipe dream and a pipe dream to come and kill him. Han Feng's eyes flickered and he shouted loudly, Where is Tian Xian's star? Shua upon hearing Han Feng's words, Tiang Xiangxing instantly appeared in front of him. Then he bowed and respectfully said, Master. Han Fong nodded. Immediately, his gaze skipped over Tian Sha and Tian Xian, and he ordered with a majestic expression, Tian Sha, listen to the order. You, along with your servants and miners, must guard the gold mine for me without any mistakes. Upon hearing this, Tian Sha Xing's regretful expression flickered in his eyes before taking orders and saying, It's the master. Han Fong nodded slightly. Immediately, his gaze fell on Tiang Xiangxing and he ordered, Tiang Xiangxing, immediately lead all the elites and villains to ambush me and defeat the bandits of the White Wolf stronghold. Han Fong had a fierce murderous aura and a cold expression. It's the master. Tiang Xiangxing clenched his fists and took command. This time, he finally has something serious to do. Tian Sha Xing watched, with a hint of envy in his eyes. It's not envy of having the opportunity to make achievements, but envy of Tiang Xiangxing being able to follow his master. However, he also knows the importance of gold mines. His own owner made him stay and also valued his abilities. Tian Sha Xing thought so, and the envy of Tian Xian Xing disappeared from his heart. Han Fang's gaze swept over the two of them again. Immediately, he crossed over them and walked towards the outside. Upon seeing the situation, Tian Sha Xing and Tian Xian Xing quickly followed suit. Soon, Han Fong led Tian Xian star and elite villains to set off. One hour later, on the official road, the bandits from the White Wolf Fortress came in a fierce manner, with dust flying in the air. Everyone screamed in a strange and arrogant manner. All the bandits from the White Wolf stronghold felt that they had a clear chance of winning, and had no idea that Han Fong had already been aware of their movements. 
I didn't even know that Han Fong had been lurking in the canyon not far ahead for a long time. Just after all the bandits entered the narrow section of the canyon without any defense. Han Feng's cold eyes flickered and he ordered in a cold voice, shoot the arrow. Jiu 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 with Han Feng's command, the elite villains who had already pointed their arrows at the strings shot their sharp arrows one after another. Shu, Shu, Shu. Shu, Shu, Shu. Suddenly, sharp arrows shot down from the mountains on both sides of the canyon road. The arrows emitted a chilling light, shooting towards the bandits of the White Wolf Fortress on the canyon road. Not good. There is an ambush, retreat quickly. The white wolf was suddenly startled and shouted loudly. At this moment, he doesn't even consider anything else. The only idea now is to immediately withdraw from this canyon. The enemy situation is unknown, this is the safest way. However. It's too late. Poo 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 the arrow blinked and arrived. The mountain bandit who didn't have time to dodge was instantly hit by an arrow. Ah. The screams of bandits echoed throughout the entire valley. And some were hit by arrows and died directly. Jojo Jojo another round of arrows is coming from all over the sky. Poo 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 in the canyon, the bandits of the white wolf stronghold were shot to tears and shouted for their mothers, and they all dodged. But the road is narrow and there is nowhere to hide. Retreat, retreat. Immediately withdraw from the valley, immediately withdraw from the valley. The white wolf had a pale complexion and shouted angrily. If there were a few more arrows coming down, they would not even see the enemy's shadow and be shot dead, let alone know who the enemy is. After three rounds of arrows, it seemed as if they had received orders, and the arrows arrived suddenly. The attack stopped within the canyon. Apart from the arrows inside the canyon, the white wolf stronghold bandits who screamed and mourned incessantly, there was no sound. The arrow stopped, and the white wolf dared not relax at all. Instead, he frowned and his expression became even more tense. Currently suffering from three rounds of arrow attacks, more than half of his troops are dead or injured, and there are less than 300 living people. And the number of 300 people who can fight is probably less than 200. The white wolf is both regretful and angry. He doesn't know if the intelligence was incorrect, or if he was betrayed by Li Wu, or if there were spies in the stronghold. But now is not the time to think about these things. It's best to immediately get out of the canyon and run for life. And at this moment, the elites and villains on the mountain appeared one after another. Then, coincidentally, he drew his simple sword from his waist and rushed down the mountain. Everyone rushed towards the mountain bandits in the canyon, fearing that if they were one step too late, the mountain bandits in the canyon would lose their share. This scene made the mountain bandits in the canyon feel a bit confused when they saw it. Seeking death. The white wolf was furious when he saw this scene. The person rushing down in front of him saw them as prey, which made him extremely angry. When did they become so miserable? Kill them. The white wolf angrily said. At his furious outburst, the bewildered mountain bandit suddenly regained consciousness. Subsequently, with a fierce gleam in their eyes, they all wielded knives and prepared to confront the elite villains who rushed down. Kill. Elite villains arrived in the blink of an eye. For a moment, the sound of killing in the canyon was deafening, with flesh and blood flying everywhere. Poo 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 blood splattered and spewed wildly. The bandits of the White Wolf Fortress are no match, they can't resist the elite villains with their imposing aura. During the confrontation, the remaining hundreds of mountain bandits suffered heavy casualties. And the killing of elite villains continues. The White Wolf's eyes widened, full of shock, and a cold sweat broke out. In just a few breaths, a large area of his subordinates collapsed. Withdraw. The white wolf let out a frightened shout, then turned around and ran away. But want to escape. It's simply impossible. The Tianwei star, who had long pretended to be a mountain bandit, moved. 
He was at the head of the White Wolf village when White Wolf was about to gallop away when his figure moved and he flew out with one foot. Bang! The next moment. The White Wolf flew out upside down. Wow! He spat out blood, feeling extremely miserable. He never expected that his subordinates would attack him. Schwa! The celestial micro star moved and landed in front of the white wolf. He moved his right hand and touched the acupoint of the white wolf. Then he pried open the white wolf's mouth, found a venomous sack inside its mouth, and took it out. During the time when Tyan Weixing caught the white wolf, the bandits of the white wolf stronghold had already been completely killed by elite villains. At this point, all the bandits from the white wolf stronghold who poured out their nest were destroyed. The White Wolf Fortress has been completely destroyed. The bad guys started cleaning the scene. 10. A Perfect Bird Crossing Task Control the Army You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After the battle ends, Han Feng's figure appeared in the canyon. There are also Tiangxiangxing and several elite villains around me. Master, the leader of the White Wolf Village, White Wolf, has brought it. Tian Weixing escorted the leader of the White Wolf Village, White Wolf, to come and report. Han Feng's cold eyes flickered, and his body was filled with murderous energy. He looked coldly at the White Wolf and asked in a cold tone, Who is the mastermind behind your plan to murder my father? Li Wu or the Jade Tiger? Upon hearing Han Feng's question about Bai Lang, Tian Weixing unlocked the mute hole on Bai Lang, the leader of the Bai Lang village. Upon hearing this, White Wolf's expression remained unchanged from beginning to end, as if he had already known that Han Feng would ask such a question. Han Feng's eyes froze and he said coldly, Kill me. Seeing the appearance of the White Wolf, Han Feng knew there was no need to keep him for further questioning. This person is a warrior, definitely not something that Vice General Li Wu could possess. So the death of my original father is definitely related to the Jade Tiger and the Night Curtain Lady. After all, the original father and original mother are relatives of the Han royal family, and their status and status are placed here. There are not many people in South Korea who dare to take action against them. Tian Weixing was stunned when he heard Han Feng's command. But I immediately realized it. I saw him move his hand. The next moment. Click with a crisp sound, Tian Weixing crushed the neck of the white wolf. And just after the white wolf was killed, a pleasant reminder sound slowly sounded in Han Feng's mind. Ding, complete task. Guard the gold mine and eliminate the invading mountain bandits. Congratulations to the host for obtaining. Heavenly Cry Star, from the world of villains, congratulations to the host for obtaining. 500 Elite Villains, congratulations to the host for obtaining. Perfect Bird Crossing, congratulations to the host for obtaining. 2 Years of Internal Power, Sky Crying Star. Are there still 500 Elite Villains? Very good. Han Feng's eyes flickered wildly, his heart satisfied. Immediately, my heart moved and I looked at the attribute panel of Tian Y Star. Tian Weixing, Tian Gang 36 Colonel. From the world of villains influence. Bad person cultivation. Early grandmaster in the early days of being a master. It's actually the early days of being a master. Han Feng murmured softly in his heart, somewhat surprised. Now, I have one early master and three innate masters. The next thing to do will be even easier. Very good. Han Feng's face showed a smile, quite satisfied. Then, with a movement in his heart, he silently recited, Summon the Heavenly Crying Star. Summon 500 elite villains. Ding summoned successfully the villain Tian Gang 36 Colonel Tian Y Star, as well as 500 elite villains, are rushing towards the host, expected to arrive around half a burning incense stick Han Feng nodded slightly. Subsequently, the gaze turned and fell on the system's rewarded techniques and internal power. Flying Bird Crossing Speed Technique 
a speed and body method that is more powerful than dragon walking. Han Fang's eyes sparkled with joy. Extract the flying bird crossing. Extract two years of internal power. Han Fang's eyes turned and he directly chose to extract everything. The words fell. The system instantly applies Fanio Du and Tu. Dot your internal strength to Han Fong. Han Fong suddenly felt his whole body filled with strength. View Personal Properties Panel. Han Fong couldn't help but mutter. Immediately, I started to check. Host. Han Fong. Age. 18 years old, cultivation. Early congenital stage, body technique. Bronze statue technique, perfection, speed body method. Flying bird crossing, perfect, spiritual technique. Meditation technique, perfection, experts under our command. Tian Sha star, Tian Xian star, Tian Wei star, Tian Wei star, elite under our command. A thousand elite and not a good person, item. None. The two-dot-year internal power reward surprisingly allowed me to break through my innate initial state from the peak of the day after tomorrow. I am very satisfied. Now, with the completion of the bronze statue art, the completion of the flying bird crossing, the completion of the meditation art, and the development of multiple lines, the strength has become even stronger. Han Fang's eyes sparkled with confidence. Thoughts return. Han Fang's gaze turned and he was about to inquire about the casualties of Tian Wei Star. And at this moment, a rapid sound of horse hooves could be heard in my ears. Han Fang's expression changed and his eyebrows furrowed slightly. Wait a moment. Outside the canyon, one person and one horse caught the eye. This person, judging from his attire, knows that he is an elite and unscrupulous person. Report. This elite and unscrupulous person came quickly with a whip. Report to the master that Lieutenant General Li Wu is leading over a thousand armored cavalry at a gallop towards this place. Expected time for a stick of incense to arrive here. This elite villain flew off his horse, knelt on one knee, and reported loudly. Upon hearing this, Han Feng's eyes froze. Li Wu's arrival is really timely. It was clearly intentional to wait for Han Feng to be destroyed by the White Wolf Village, and then arrive late. It just disappointed Li Wu. Not only did he not be killed by the bandits of the White Wolf Village, but he also destroyed all the bandits of the White Wolf Village. Han Feng did not leave, but waited quietly for Li Wu's arrival. After a stick of incense, Li Wu led over a thousand armored cavalry to appear outside the canyon. Then, we entered the canyon. When he saw the corpses of bandits from the White Wolf strongholds scattered everywhere, he was immediately shocked. What's going on? This result was completely unexpected for him. At the moment he saw Han Feng, he was even more shocked. After only a few days of absence, the crown prince of his own family surprisingly recovered from illness without any signs of illness. What shocked him even more was that Han Feng had such elite guards around him. Surprisingly, they annihilated all the more than 500 powerful bandits from the White Wolf Fortress. In this way, his wishful thinking has completely fallen through. Damn it! Isn't Han Feng a sick seedling? And how could he have so many subordinates? What exactly is going on here? Li Wu was puzzled inside, but on the surface, he remained calm. With a flash of his eyes, he quickly dismounted and walked up to Han Feng, bowing and saying, I will pay my respects to the crown prince. Han Feng's eyes fixed on Li Wu and said coldly, Lieutenant General Li, I remember the crown prince sent someone to give you an order at noon. Why did you come now? Upon hearing this, Li Wu's disdainful eyes flickered away. Please forgive me, Crown Prince. At noon, it was not that I didn't want to lead my army to rescue, but rather that there was a reason behind the situation. Please explain, Crown Prince Rom Mojiang. Li Wu pretended to be extremely aggrieved. Han Feng looked at Li Wu with a cold smile in his heart. Immediately, 
he said coldly, military orders are like mountains. Lieutenant General Lee, if you disobey orders, you should be executed. The word chop blurted out, instantly shaking the expressions of everyone present. Li Wu's hair stood up even more. Clang 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 more than a thousand armored cavalry brought by Li Wu were ready to move with their swords drawn out of their sheaths. It seems that as long as Li Wu gives an order, they will kill Han Feng. Resounding hundreds of elite and unscrupulous individuals, upon seeing this, drew their swords and gazed coldly at over a thousand armored cavalry. These armored cavalry, daring to show their swords to their masters, are simply seeking death. Actually, at the entrance of the canyon, Tian Weixing and five hundred elite villains have long arrived, and now they are hiding in the dark according to Han Feng's orders. They wouldn't have exposed it voluntarily without Han Feng's orders. And Han Feng, at this moment, his eyes twinkled with coldness. This over a thousand armored cavalry, daring to strike a sword at him, clearly betrayed him completely. In this canyon, armored cavalry has little use, but it is not so easy to deal with. After all, this over a thousand armored cavalry are fully armed, well dot equipped, armored, and skilled in military formations. And at this moment, the pleasant prompt sound of the system rang in his mind. Ding, trigger task. Clean up internal issues, take control of the army.